What's the role of cloud in 2022? Can cloud help in creating a sustainable business model? But also, what are the latest developments in multi-cloud and cloud, and what are the successful strategies you can apply in 2022? Today, we have two experts answer these questions and much more. Christian van Bochhoven, he's the Managing Director Oracle Practice at Accenture, and Wilfred Scholman, he's the Country Leader Oracle in the Netherlands. Welcome, Christian. Welcome, Wilfred. Thank you. Christian, we've seen a significant acceleration in the past year in the switch of business models on one hand, but we see also the need to become a much more sustainable business. Can you explain how cloud is affecting these two trends? Yeah, thank you. Yes, of course I can. Um, so maybe just to, to introduce um, the topic of ethical sustainable business. Uh, every year we do um, a research in which we look at what are the, the current, the latest technology trends. We, we've done that for the past 20 years. And every year we also create an Oracle version um, uh, of that. And in that report, um, we look at what defines an ethical and sustainable uh, business. Now, we, we came basically to three key elements, um, cloud technology, inclusive culture, and accountable systems. Now, if, if you think about, you know, what makes a business sustainable and not just sustainable from a climate change perspective, but also uh, sustainable in the definition of uh, long running. Um, you need a collaborative and an innovation, uh, innovative um, workspace and uh, business model, which are very much uh, benefited by having diverse teams, inclusive teams. Now, what we see is that cloud technology enables that because it brings out the best in the people. It brings out the best in a diverse uh, set of people, both in terms of you know skills, as well as in terms of um, race, gender, cultural background, etc. So cloud enables that and cloud also enables another element that we that we've seen. And that was actually the, the, the key element of the report of last year, which is uh, trust. Uh, Trust that you have the data, trust that you have the tool, trust that the data is secure in, a, in an environment um, and that you can use that whenever you need it, that you can try things, that you can make mistakes, um, but that you still are able to report um, on, on your, and that's the accountability part, on the goals that you've uh, set. Yeah, Wilfred, talking about this technology vision, can you give your view on what's needed from a cloud and a multi-cloud perspective to support these trends? Yeah, certainly. The uh, you see, and you can see the trend quite clearly. Yeah? Analysts like big analysts like Gartner discuss multi-cloud architectures. Partners such as uh, Accenture are very well capable of explaining uh, multi-cloud uh, to our customers and customers themselves see the benefit. And there's two main reasons really. Uh, and the first is not every cloud is capable of running uh, every workload uh, or for that matter, running it uh, economically. So the heavy grade enterprise grade uh, workloads are not uh, are not for any cloud and uh, or, you know, some clouds have unplanned downtime uh, or security breaches and, and certainly customers do not want to take them there. And the other the other main reasons is having uh, a multi cloud strategy means you have the benefit of choice. Uh, the best technology for the workload, security, data sovereignty, and frankly, also uh, from my from an economics point of view. So, yeah, the multi-cloud strategy gives the capability to distribute the workloads between various compute uh, infrastructures, and that that gives our customers competitive advantage across industry, across cost savings, and and uh, reduce barriers to innovation. Really. If I think about this high performance applications, I immediately think about the use of intelligent digital trends, which is also one of the new trends right now. Christian, what type of trends do you see with 2022 in this domain? Yeah, we see we see a lot uh, of uh, indeed the digital twin or the intelligent di digital twin um, being enabled by by this cloud technology and having the power to actually create that uh, because what is a digital twin that is the digital equivalent of your physical environment and what it helps you to do is to collect a lot of data and to turn that into uh, insights uh, to define actions from it um, what is the bigger picture if i have all this data available to me what can i uh, what insights does it bring me um, and it allows you to get it, it, it gives you a, a, a playground that is relatively risk free because you can try things. Okay, what if I change this in my environment without actually having to change the physical 
um, infrastructure. And it, it, it goes, you see this a lot, of course, in maintenance companies or in manufacturing companies, I mean, um, where, where they do that a lot. But you, you can also simulate maybe products or, or customers in a, in a customer experience environment where you can try things out without actually uh, bringing it straight to market. But, and that brings me back to that innovation topic that we discussed in, in the earlier question. Um, it, it allows you to create um, predictive uh, digital twins in the end. It helps you to yeah, define your future rather than be surprised by it. Yeah, Wilfred, we, we see the move for this high performance applications to the cloud, but also basically any type of, of um, application is moving to the cloud. What are the key architecture challenges that you see within organizations that they face and how can they prepare for them? Yeah, well, organizations, all of them uh, are migrating all or parts of their IT estate to cloud. And obviously, because cloud can overcome uh, lengthy infrastructure planning and, and uh, platform uh, um, maintenance cycles that just take time away from uh, innovation. So um, the vast majority, however, of enterprise applications uh, still remains on premise, on on-premise infrastructure. And that is rapidly changes, changing. So the IT leaders often hesitate uh, to move critical applications into the hands of a service provider, a cloud service provider, because sometimes there is not a, a clear migration path uh, for entrenched, you know, the deeply entrenched legacy applications. But also, uh, they're not sure whether the cloud service provider can meet the enterprise needs. And, and they're also right to be very thorough and diligent about it. Most public cloud offerings have uh, hidden costs, uh, limited deployment options or are not compatible between on-premise and cloud systems uh, or, or, or don't have an enterprise level uh, management capabilities. And our, our Oracle's leading cloud platform, we do address deployment offers, uh, options. We have uh, the, the security built in from the start and at all levels. And, and yeah, we lead in, economy, uh, in, the, in the economics. So our cloud infrastructure platform really makes it easier to migrate also the, the, the harder enterprise applications to the cloud and reduce cost. To give you an example here, uh, the Deutsche Bank expects yeah, to really uh, save uh, three digit millions of money by using Oracle Cloud infrastructure. That's a, a very clear example of a, of a bank, of a tier one bank, uh, a global bank moving to, to Oracle Cloud. Great example. Um, if we now look to 2022, Wilfred, um, what type of tips do you have for organizations to build a future-proof, sustainable cloud architecture? Yeah, well, cloud gives the benefit uh, really in this era of uh, labor shortage. And, uh, you know, we automate, uh, uh, cloud have the ability to automate and, and take all the efforts of our customers to innovation rather than maintaining technology. There's two factors really critical. Choose a cloud vendor to have an integrated SaaS, PaaS and EaaS architecture to really give the business the ability to move from operations to innovation and to deliver new applications and services. Uh, but also to make it really easy to go to the next, le next level of innovation technologies and give that to your uh, business users like AI, chatbots, blockchain, because that ultimately drives better outcomes for the customers of our customers. And the second critical factor is really have a data strategy. Avoid a multiple of data management tools across different uh, clouds, uh, as, as we do see that happening. Uh, and we have many conversations uh, with customers here. We cover all requirements from a single uh, data management platform, and we do that on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, but also on third-party clouds. Thank you, Wilfred. Thank you, Christian. Some great insights from the Technology Vision Report. And thank you for the tips for 2022. And for the audience, thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time.